Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you five essential oils every natural must have. To find out, keep on watching. So before I let you guys know my top five essential oils, let's know what are essential oils. Essential oil is a concentrated plant oil that is distilled from the plant. A lot of people are like, why is it called essential oil? Well, they are called essential oils because they are the essence of the plant they derive from. So that is the major reason why they're called essential oils because we are getting like the nutrients, the essential nutrients from the plant. So that is why it's called essential oil. These essential oils have tons of benefits like reducing stress, stimulating hair growth and improving blood circulation. So here are my five best essential oils. The first is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is said to increase blood circulation around your scalp, improves hair growth and prevents hair loss. I love peppermint oil, like it's my first and favorite because it's because it has this cooling sensation when applied to your scalp especially you know when you are itching your scalp and you just apply the peppermint oil on your scalp god your your scalp you just feel really relaxed and your scalp just really feels cool and relaxed that's why i really really like peppermint oil it, it also has antimicrobial properties which means it prevents bacteria from entering into our scalp so if you have any form of bacteria in your scalp it's advisable to put peppermint oil with a carrier oil mix it together and apply it on your scalp and it can help prevent bacteria from your scalp another one is that it prevents inflammation it can lead to hair loss so peppermint oil prevents inflammation there are different reasons that can cause inflammation probably what you eat and some of it can now, and also itching a lot, when you're itching your scalp a lot, can be caused by inflammation, it can cause itchiness, inflammation can cause itchiness, and also what you eat, let's say you're taking a lot of sugar, can cause inflammation, there are different reasons that inflammation can be caused, and this helps, and peppermint oil helps, helps to prevent inflammation, so it's anti-inflammatory, oh my god, anti-inflammatory. If this yeah that is what it is also controls excess oil like the oil our natural oil sebum um, coming out of our scalp it also helps to control that the excess oil from our scalp so that is another um, reason for using peppermint oil I absolutely love peppermint oil it's my favorite out of all the essential oils those are like the basic benefits of essential oils it also helps with itchiness um, if your scalp is itchy you can apply the essential oil or if it's it has flakes or dandruff it is really really good for um to prevent to reduce flakes and reduce dandruff that is basically the basic benefits of using peppermint oil so the next one is tea tree oil tea tree oil kind of has similar um benefits with peppermint oil that kind of quite similar it just has few differences from the peppermint oil and the first is it also improves blood circulation apart from its soothing um itchy scalp dandruff and preventing dandruff and flake tea tree oil um tea tree oil allows nutrients to reach the hair follicles and also balances our ph level so that is one benefit and also fights the same thing as peppermint means our tea tree oil also fights bacteria and infections on our scalp tea tree oil also helps to remove dead skin cells which are blocking our hair follicles for um from receiving the nutrients that it needs it helps to remove any form of dead skin cells in our hair that are blocking the hair follicles and preventing our hair and preventing hair growth because we know that if your hair follicles are blocked if your hair follicles are blocked definitely you're not going to be able to receive all the nutrients that your hair needs so tea tree oil helps to remove dead skin cells so those are the benefits of using tea tree oil so that's like the difference between both of them um, but they kind of have similar benefits so the next essential oil is lavender oil i absolutely love lavender oil because it has a really nice fragrance smell you can see that many people use um, lavender oil when it comes to perfumes or fragrance like basically when you want a nice fragrance people use lavender oil a lot because it has a really really lovely fragrance i really love using it for my hair 
strand here and it also has great benefits for the hair it also helps to soothe dry scalp which can be caused by dandruff or inflammation it also helps to treat dandruff and minor cuts like we know that when you're itching your scalp a lot you know your nails are digging into your scalp so sometimes they can cause like a little bit of cuts or open cuts on your hair and lavender oil helps to treat minor cuts on your scalp so when sometimes when i my scalp i've itched it like I'm itching a lot and I have like a little bit of cut. I just apply lavender oil to it with I mix it up and apply lavender oil with my carrier oil I mix it up and apply the lavender oil to make sure that it suits so that it suits the cut and you know makes it also when applying it you kind of feel really relaxed like it's also um it's also good for massages you know it makes you feel relaxed like I said it like reduces stress so I also use lavender oil for that and last and it's also good for scalp massages not only things that are minty that are good for scalp massages also lavender oil is good for scalp massages and also help with blood flow so those are the benefits of using lavender oil so moving to the next one is eucalyptus oil eucalyptus oil is really good and it also it's really good and has various benefits like it treats hair lice so if you have hair lice on your hair it's advisable you can use eucalyptus oil to treat hair lice and prevent hair lice eucalyptus oil also relieves itchy scalp so if you have itchy scalp eucalyptus oil you cannot you don't need to only use peppermint oil if you have eucalyptus oil you can also use that for itchy scalp so it doesn't necessarily have to be peppermint oil or tea tree oil you can also use eucalyptus oil usually it reduces stress too so if you're stressed out you can use eucalyptus oil actually most essential oils reduces stress like when you're stressed out they kind of have, have this soothing cool feeling when you apply them even to your scalp to your skin to your body you can apply it on your skin too and it has this really cool soothing feeling so that those are some benefits of using eucalyptus oil so the last but not the least one this one i love this one and this one are for people that have dry scalp if you have oily skin and oily scalp then this one is not for you and my last essential oil is ylang ylang i love ylang ylang me i tend to have dry scalp if you tend to have dry scalp then ylang ylang is for you you need to be using ylang 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 is like a natural conditioner for the hair and it also helps to produce you know i said earlier that most of this um essential oils they control oils um the they control oil oils on your hair they actually control the oil sebum production on your hair they tend to reduce it but this one tends to produce more oil sebum on your hair scalp it's a great remedy for dry scalp if you have dry scalp I advice that you get the yileng yileng yes it, it can be quite expensive because when i bought it where i'm from it was a bit it was quite expensive i'm I don't want to share the price. I think I bought it. Okay, let me just share the price. I think I bought it um in an online store called beautyfake.com. If you would like to get it, I can I will just link um the link of the store down in the description box. So you can check the description box for the website. That's if you are in Lagos night. They actually ship anywhere around the world. That's where I get my essential oil always from. So the Yeleng the Yeleng the Yeleng Yeleng is quite expensive. I think I bought it like 15k. Yes, I think I bought a 15 can it's a small bottle. Yes, that was the amount I bought my Ylang Ylang. It's quite expensive, but you don't need to use too much drops. You just need to use few drops. So it's going to last you for a while when using it. And another thing is that for Ylang Ylang, it also reduces stress and hormonal imbalances that contributes to hair loss. So when using the Ylang Ylang, it can reduce stress or if you're having hormonal imbalances in your body, it can also reduce that. And we all know that stress can lead to hair loss. So Ylang Ylang has that benefit of reduce, has that benefit of preventing hair loss. Actually, all the ones I mentioned have benefits of preventing hair loss and also hair thinning. As you can see, many of these essential oils have like similar color characteristics like the antibacterial anti-inflammatory oh god i always i always don't know how to say that word well and also anti-fungal so you see that they all have like 
similar benefits most of them so one thing i'd like you to note is that you should keep in mind is when you're using these essential oils don't use it directly to your scalp you can see that's why they are really small and they are made up in drops like that's why they have that drop kind of um opening so you put them in drops and there's a reason for that because you're not meant to apply like a lot on your hair you're meant to actually mix it with a carrier oil and various when you can mix it with olive oil coconut oil almond oil avocado oil any oil of your choice but you need to mix it with a carrier oil and just put few drops of it you don't need to put too much drops like 30 drops depending on the measurement though it depends on how you measure it like if you're putting it in a really large um like a large bottle or jar then you can now put like 30 drops but if you're not putting it in a really big jar then you don't need to put too much of the essential oils that's why they're made to be put in drops there is there's a reason why they did it that way and there's a reason why they stated you should mix it with carrier oils so make sure when you're mixing it don't apply the essential oil directly to your scalp make sure you mix it with a carrier oil so that is one thing that you should keep in mind so that is all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope you guys learned one or two things and you guys can comment down below your favorite essential oil it doesn't have to be the one i mentioned you can have like favorite really nice essential oil that you use for hair growth you can mention them down in the comment section below i'd like to hear from you guys and there might also be other people watching this video and would like to know other essential oils that they can use so i'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section below your favorite essential oil and why why it's and why it's your favorite essential oil so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up you can check for other videos if you if you're not convinced by this video you can check other videos to convince you to subscribe no problem to convince you to subscribe to this channel and also give this video a thumbs up by liking this video that is all for today's video goodbye and see you guys next time <laughs>